All right. We are back, everybody, with more of our uh, Pokemon Platinum Destiny Bond. And I have some good news for everybody in that I learned, because I do have the internet and access to it, Megby does not evolve via happiness. He evolves via level 30. So I did oh, not. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so I did not bother <laughs> running around in circles for two hours trying to bond his happiness. Huh. Um, thankfully, <laughs> that could Yeah, have I actually, I legitimately did not know that. Yeah, I was just like, I'm going to double check, like, because I know some of them have some awkward ones. Like, I think it's. Is it Rylu? Is that the mm -hmm. pre Lucario has a level evolve, I believe, again? Yep, one of my favorite Pokemon and has one of my least favorite evolution types. Yeah, so. I absolutely hate friendship evolution. Yeah, so I'm like, I better check and make sure, because I don't think all of them do do happiness. And that was indeed the case. Yeah, uh, I'm used to most baby Pokemon yeah, requiring okay. happiness. Alright, so I think what we should do, in my own personal opinion, is we're yep. missing the Pokemon from the cave up here. So I'm thinking we should at least add that to our roster. I better check and make sure I have Pokeballs. I have 17 Pokeballs. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I need to check mine too. Oh, oh hey, Sableye. Neat. Oh, well. yeah. so <laughs> I'm thinking we, we go grab this last little Pokemon up here in the cave. Oh, yeah. And then we can make about... our way towards um, whatever the hell the other city is. Oof, I have only seven. But yeah, but I forgot about Mulder and Scully. <laughs> it's funny. Like, I completely forgot that he even had a Cricketune, too. Oh, yeah, there's an item in here, too. Oh, shit, you already made it to the cave. I was not paying attention. I was oh. trying to mute the uh, wallpaper engine again. Oh, oh damn, yeah. I could have gotten a Remoraid here. Oh, nice. I wanted yeah, Raid can... Boss back. Yeah, get, or getting an like, Octillery with like Sniper or something like that. That'd be fucking insane. That fucking Raid Boss was carrying my Sword Shield play. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, shit, I, I, got the well, I got the encounter. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. I don't know if that's legal, that... though. I don't think that's yeah, legal. I, don't... I have to double check that one. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I found a Miracle Seed, and I can give it to Baxter. Nice. I'm pretty sure Latios and Latias are not legal in our, our 680 base stat or more. Yeah, I'm pretty boss. sure they're... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're high up there. I think they're 680. They might be one of the 550s, but I don't think they are. Ooh, nice. Paneri slash low punny. That'd be a good one. Uh, No, he's 600. They're both 600 on the spot, so they are technically oh, legal. Oh, cool. And little uh, legality clause. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we can use both of these. We don't have any normal types, do we? Not on our... T yes, I have Blissey. So we can yeah. catch them. But yeah. we can't use them without swapping out Blissey, and I forget who Blissey's tag. Who, who's Blissey's partner? Actually, I'm gonna look that up. Oh, oh, I'm Romeo. so happy that Romeo I'm so happy that Blissey. Fury Cutter Cutter is like so weak. <laughs> I'm gonna block this thing so that it can't uh, escape. Take that. That'd be so cheap. I'm gonna actually iron defense even so that it can't really kill me while I throw Pokeballs at it. Provided yeah, it hits me in defense rather than special defense. <laughs> Unfortunately, Latios might have Luster Purge. Yeah, but if it hits me in special defense, there's not a whole lot I can do in that one. <laughs> well, no, doesn't Luster Purge like, like hurt the Pokemon that uses it too? Uh, I don't know if it's Recoil actually. Oh, it's okay. got Psy Wave, so it's ignoring my defense stats, anyways. Yeah, well, fucking Psy Wave. All right, this is probably going to go through a lot of Pokeballs, but I'm feeling confident yeah. with 17. I think we can do it. Yep. Yeah, I luckily caught mine in two, so I'm happy. I only had seven po- oh. Okay, just do something that I was not affected by. So, poison or ground? Wait, do I- I don't have levitate. So would it be poison type? Yeah, maybe. Unless I'm ground and it tries to use something like- Oh, it's trying to use heal block. Oh, it's usually- okay, yeah, we'll say it's like, I don't- Yeah, I don't- I didn't think that Probopass was- Oh no, Probopass is steel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the only thing you'd be immune to would be, uh... Poison. Poison. And yeah, and I think I don't think uh, Pro Pass ever gets Levitate, but they do get Magnet Rise. So All like right. you can have a move that makes you immune to. Yeah, but we have random abilities. I don't think mine no, is no, Levitate. No, Mag no, Magnet Rise is a, is a move. Not no, I'm saying ability. Levitate is a. Ra I I don't think mine has Levitate as a random ability. Is what I was getting at. Oh, duh. Yeah, I see what you mean. Sorry. I don't remember what he has. Oh man. Yeah, I kind of want a lot of Pokeballs right now. 
I mean, not it, surprising. Do you think there's a move? Wait, I, I know I, that, I can like, do. I, there's a move I could use, and it's not Probo Pass. It's on Miss. I couldn't hurt a fly if I tried. Oh yeah, good point. Is Blissey a- oh wait, no, this is 4th gen, so Blissey wouldn't be a fairy type anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Julia, there's no way you do any significant damage to this thing. Yeah. That's oh yeah, you can, can even survive hit a crit. Like... And then yeah. I, I can go one more pound, just for good measure here. Alright, now we gotta be careful, I'm not gonna risk the crit though. Yeah, I think even if you did crit, you'd probably be fine, but- No, yeah. I'm pretty sure that- I'm pretty sure it, it could, Cause it also could be a high rolled crit, which would be really, really bad. Oh. Stay in there, you fucking son of a Ooh. bitch. Looked close. Oh, we got? we got 10 more. Ooh, I'm gonna run out of popoles, I think, but this is probably worth a question mark. <laughs> I mean, it's Latios. Oh, yeah. Or Latios, sorry. The us is the red one. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of 4th gen, even though these aren't 4th gen Pokemon, Latios and Latios, um... It's probably been enough time, especially by the time this episode airs, to talk about Arceus without pissing everyone the hell off. <laughs> um, so, I'm assuming you played the game. I'm almost done with it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've only just started at the at time of recording here. I, uh, I beat the first world, and I... Depending, I don't know the exact duration of anything, but I'm imagining I'm closing it on the end of the second world. Mm -hmm. I can say, though, that the uh, devs did not necessarily catch all of the possible um, glitches you could do, because I'm pretty oh, confident yeah. I found several areas I was not supposed to be able to get to um, already. Mm -hmm. I've was... done that, too. <laughs> and I say that only because I found certain, like, barriers that when I've tried to break them down, the Pokemon appears on the opposite side of the barrier to break it down. <laughs> I don't, like I once, I once oh, threw. I once if you threw mean like a, the, if you mean like the rock smash ones, those ones can be broken by like any Pokemon. Oh no! But I'm saying I, I'm saying I've thrown a Pokeball at it where they pop out and they break it, and they pop out on the other side. And I thought I actually lost the Pokemon until they start chipping the rocks oh, and I see them on the other side. I'm I like, see. oh, I wasn't supposed to be here yet, was I? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, you might have been approaching it from a different angle. Oh no! It's, yeah. it's because there was a couple. There was, the one. I got to, um, not necessarily all of them. Oh, that one nice, was it. Yeah, I did catch it. One of them I did get to, there was like this like land bridge, which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to get up because as I was, uh, I was riding oh. the, the awkward Stantler thing yeah. and he, both him and the, the character were sliding down the cliff. Like you weren't really, yeah. like, you weren't really supposed to you, get up. You, you basically Skyrim horsed. Yeah. I basically up. just like kept jumping and jumping and yep. running and jumping. And eventually I got to yep. the top. And I'm like, suck it game. I got to the top. And then I started yep. fighting Pokemon that look a little 50 and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah. I, I did that. I, I actually, I lost my entire party. Turns out when you lose your entire Pokemon party, you don't actually black out. You still get to run around with dead Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I didn't so, know Latios had a had a gender. We have a male and a female. Well, because uh, Latios is male, Latios is always female. I didn't realize that. I guess I just assumed yeah, they were both. They're, they're one of the few. Yeah, they're one of the few legendaries that actually have a canonical gender. I just assumed they were both like, you know, genderless, and it was assumed one was male, one was female. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I, I don't remember whose yeah. turn it is, but if you've got a good male female combo, um, I'm trying to think. I yeah, think I got one or think. two. Uh. Let's see. I know I did suggest a while back that we could do like a Mina and Den, because that's oh, male and female, right? We could do Mina Den, yeah. Yeah. If anyone doesn't know that, that's Magic the Gathering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could do Mina Den, that's fine. I'm not gonna argue with that. Now that I have a well we can't use them because of unless we ditch who's your Romeo, by the way? Who who would we have oh, to ditch yeah, to keep good these point. two? Yeah, um, I think my Romeo was, yeah, it's just a gold dog. I'm I mean, pretty sure we're okay ditching that. I mean, I don't yeah. necessarily like dissing Blitz Blissey. Blissey's fucking great, but I'm pretty sure Latios is better. Yeah, and Golduck is just not good. Golduck is oh. Golduck. <laughs> yeah. That was my first shiny Pokemon, though, in uh, Pokemon Legends. 
Oh, my first uh, besides, was that, that guaranteed ponyta. Well, yeah. I mean, like, my first, like, actual, like, oh, not guaranteed. Oh, well, speaking of but that, yeah. I also caught that stupid fucking Gyarados from the first one that's just flying around the goddamn waterfall. Dude, that's so weird. I was, for the longest time, I was convinced you couldn't because I was whipping fucking balls at it and just, like, I couldn't hit it and it kept flying further and further away. And then finally, I found this spot where it wouldn't fly close enough and I was just whipping the fly balls at it and I had, like, 30 mm -hmm. and finally just caught it. I'm like, suck it, you bastard Gyarados. Join my team. Yeah, I, uh, I, I actually really use a lot of the feather balls, like, all the time. Oh, wait, Romeo is, um, is a water type. Do we get to access to anyone else when you ditch your water type? Oh, that's a very good point, actually. Um. You'd have to have two water types in your PC, which I don't think you do, because chances are we ditch whatever gold duck for whatever they, ooh, we do. Oh, wait, yeah. Is he ice or is he water ice? Oh, he's ice. Ice water. Oh, who's he tied to? Calista? Uh, Abbott. Oh, he's tied to grass. So yeah, that's what our problem is. Because you have a grass on your team still. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I have Riggs <laughs> to yeah, your Murtaugh. Riggs and Murtaugh. Um, I guess that's... Oh, yeah, which we couldn't use that because of normal type also. Huh. All right, well, <laughs> I guess that's kind of the best we can do then again. I forgot why... I forgot what was the thing that was keeping us from using our Maggie. starters. Maybe and we have Typhlosion. Oh, and Typhlosion yeah, well. and the Typhlosion is just infinitely better. <laughs> oh, and speaking of Typhlosion, the Typhlosion from fucking Arceus looks high as shit. Like, he's just a huge fucking stoner. As soon as I saw him, I'm like, I have to change his nickname. Like, he can't have this. Like, he's got to be dude. <laughs> I actually haven't seen it yet, and I really want to. Like, I'm going to look up an image of it. Like, He's got the... this derpiest fucking smile on his face, and his eyes are glazed over and half open. It's I'm like, he is so fucking <laughs> high right now. <laughs> he's just baked. Um, did we yeah, I've... Guy? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't fight him oh, yet. I did, yeah. You must have uh, the I, I went. Him. I went up. The, yeah, I went through the up through the grass. Oh, good. He has a surskit. That's easy enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, I chose Samurott. Um, and oh, you chose uh, uh, Ikakuman. You mean? Yeah, he's just kind of like boring, generic. Uh, yeah, I will say this about the game, though. Um, I'm gonna have. Oh. Almost, I have. I have a lot. Of complaints about the game i will say overall i do enjoy the game i like the game i think it's a good game but i have a lot of complaints about it <laughs> like for example the pokemon density is abysmal i've gone to, like i've been to two areas now and half the pokemon are exactly the fucking same oh I'm like are yeah. you fucking shitting me like i know the pokedex only has something like 180 to 200 and i get it modeling 3d Pokemon is not the easiest thing in the world, especially with how much effort they're trying to put into it. And I'm not expecting you to go out and make all, I don't know what the fuck number they're at, like 800 something, 900 something. And I don't expect you to make all of them, but like 300, you know, 320 maybe, just just mm. so that each area has more diversity than about 10 to 15% new Pokemon every time you walk into his region. Like, please. Yeah. Also, just like what happened to you last time, uh, my... Oh, it got set to uh, shift. That was, was, yeah, it was a. Uh, yeah, I don't know what triggered over. that. So it wasn't just me, like, forgetting it. Literally, something yeah. triggered it to go back to that. Yeah. Uh, it's looking water psychic, but Mulder's ice. Or not ice, he's rock. So I probably don't want to stay on this. Oh, shit, I forgot to train Ladia. Um, I don't think he wants to go in on this either. Do you think Slowking's got a really powerful water attack that's special? Actually, what is. At level 8? I have no idea. What's his special defense? Actually, his special defense is solid. Both his defense are really good. Oh, he's immune. He's Oh, my steel type's immune, and it prevents him from getting poisoned a second time. That's how immune he is. <laughs> he's just extra immune to poison. Uh, uh, Magnet Bomb is not very effective. I think I'll... I'll tr oh, this is risky, though. Cause... Oh, wait, no, steel's not, so he's only times 2 to water, right? Yeah. He can probably take one water attack due to level advantage. So we'll just we'll see yeah. what Slowking does. Okay, curse. Now I'm scared. That's really bad. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. He's setting up, and I'm not doing a lot of damage. Um, does Typhlosion have anything that would let me take care of this? Not really. I could smoke screen for a potential miss. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, 
I'm going to drop one iron defense for good measure. I don't know if he's got physical or special. I'm assuming it's mostly special, but... Okay, now he's learning my attack. He's a prick. Oh! My uh, Mina has magma armor, so nice. prevents her from being frozen and okay, has an eggs faster. I've seen three of his attacks so far. He has Curse, Yawn, and Growl so far. So nothing has actually dealt damage, let alone... Yeah, he, yeah he might not have any damaging moves. Maybe. In which case, I feel a lot safer here. Alright, Mulder. I mean, it'll be a long fight. Yeah, it's gonna but... be a very long fight. He keeps cursing. <laughs> oh, cool. Louder. That's not anything special. I also had another thought uh, about this game. If we do end up losing it, it's probably best to not uh, keep redoing the randomizer, because otherwise we're, like... Part of, like, a Nuzlocke and what you do to win is actually being able to predict what the fuck the enemy is doing. Yeah, to, to learn from, yeah. Oh my god, I'm down to one damage. This is gonna take forever. Alright, well, I guess we have more time to talk about Arceus then, while I slowly fucking whittle the Slow King down. <laughs> god damn it, he has nothing to damage me. Yeah, this is a guaranteed win. It's just a matter of how much effort I'm willing to put in. Unless I switch to Den for XP. Ooh. The thought. That's true. It could be basically almost free XP for Den. It would be, because, well, what is... He has attacks, though, right? I don't remember what he did. No, he doesn't. Does he? Oh, shit. Well, I swapped him in anyways. I guess we're fucking going for it. <laughs> Alright, um... But yeah, like, the other one I... Oh, I side with. That's right. Which ignores typing. Yay! Screw your massive defense boost. <laughs> but uh, oh gosh i forgot that this person had like a shit ton of pokemon the other thing i will say is i i don't know why they didn't just use what what's gen 4 again is it sh it's Ho no hones three so no it's Sinnoh this one right now the one that we're playing right now yeah i, I don't know why <laughs> they didn't just call it the sino region that's when they're using because diamond it's probably gonna be the origin it's probably gonna be like the or because like they call their god sino yeah so oh gosh that shell said aftermath Fuck. <laughs> Remember that for the future. Yeah. Oh wow, and a Monferno. That's funny. But either way, like, like maybe it is supposed to be the region, but it doesn't look like that according to the like. If you open the map, at least it doesn't remind me of the Sinnoh region. Maybe they're gonna do some like huge oh no, it's drift thing. But no, it's basically one to one. It like is? it is. Oh god, yeah, it, it is almost again. exactly. I don't remember it looking like yeah, that. it is almost exactly the Sinnoh map. I mean, you can open your map right now. I mean, I because like I don't have once again, we're in right now. I don't have the no, no. I mean, like your your map in, in yeah, I know, but I'm not sure if that's also... like I know what the map looks like here. Oh, oh I'm saying like I have to look open that map. But yeah, because the swamp is in the bottom right, uh, where you just were, uh, like that city right there, Pastoria City. That's the swamp, and that's where it is on the map. I'd have to double and the check next, that one. The next area you're going is like Sunny Shore in the uh far right. Uh, right over there. Here? Yeah. Well, or yeah, or, or, or at the far right uh, bottom. Oh, here. Here? Yeah. Yeah, that's, like, kind of where your next location is going to be, and that actually is, like, on the coast and everything. Oh. So it, it, it fits. Okay, maybe it does. Maybe I'll have to take a closer look at it. But, yeah. um... But, like I said, I got lots of little niggles, things like they use the same goddamn song for everything on that stupid flute. Yeah. And I'm like... If you're gonna rip off every fucking sound effect from the Legend of Zelda and Generation One that you can, at least use some different fucking melodies. Like, come on, oh, they're the, two the fucking flute? second spot. They're two second. Bloop, bloop. Like, just have someone on a flute for ten seconds, and there you go. Cut it into two second segments. Like, oh my god, hey Shaman. Uh, but no, actually, the flute sound effect is from Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Oh, I'm sure it is. Like, I'm just saying. When, like, whenever, it, whenever you open up the, the game, it goes like. Doo -doo. I'm and just like, saying a lot of the that. a lot of the sound effects remind me of Legend of Zelda, and I yeah. think that I think they were trying just a little bit to ape it, you know, because they kind of knew. Yeah, they kind of knew it was basically Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon. Yeah, um, I'm gonna train Den. I think for just a moment, try and get like eight nine before we go on. Also, I want to check my how much money do I have? How much money do you have? Because I kind of want more Pokeballs. I don't know if there's good fighting here it's kind okay, of I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch pokemon just so i know that i can run away yeah that's like a really good idea <laughs> like i forgot to put it like my my front party pokemon was poisoned and i'm like oh yeah i should probably have switched who's in my front for a little while while i run but yeah like i said lots of little niggles there's niggles like the um 
Um, so yeah, like the, the the little music on the flute. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Just make up some yeah. new sound effects every time, or at least change the. Um, yeah, change how it sounds a little pitch, bit per know, so it, one that you summon. Yeah, just so it sounds a little bit different. Uh, again, then we talked about the Pokedex. It's just like again, I don't a hundred percent blame them, but like I kind of blame them a little bit for not trying hard enough. I'd rather wait an extra year for the game if it meant there was like an extra, uh, you know, hundred Pokemon in the game, just so that each region felt a little more unique. Yeah. Um, then there's the other niggle I have is how damn near every single fucking character in that game is literally just a copy paste version of someone from this game. <laughs> like the only one that the I, only I, one do, that almost, I do kind of like playing I Spy a little bit. The though, only one kind of that took me a little bit longer than the rest to be like, oh, I know who you are is. Is it Lolo or Volo, the the traveling merchant one? Yeah. The first yeah. time I saw him or her, I don't even fucking know. I think it's supposed to be a her because it's Cynthia. But no, it, it is it is a guy. It's a gender bent Cynthia. Oh. Yeah, but I was like, I looked at him the first time. I'm like, okay, whatever. So you're here. He's like, use Togepi. I'm like, okay, whatever. The second time you fought him, he's just like, I got a Gibble. I'm like, oh, you're Cynthia. Got it. Like immediately yeah. on that fucking point, I'm just like, got it. I know exactly like, who you are. For, for me, when I was playing through, I'm like, I, I got to like area four. And I'm like, I'm surprised that I haven't seen a Cynthia double yet. And then it just hit me right when I said that. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. It's that guy. That's Cynthia. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And every, then uh, every single person, like, like you're just, I'm just like, you're that one gym leader. You're that other gym leader. You're that gym leader. You're that member from Team Galaxy. You're that member from Team Galactica or whatever the hell they're yeah. called. Like, <laughs> and then also there's like the Elite Four. One of yeah. the Elite Four members is like in the, the base. Yeah, I'm just that, like, do we... And they don't even have... Like, that, the Elite Four person doesn't... I think it's supposed to be, like, Karen from the Elite Four. And the person, like, doesn't even, like, pertain to the story. They're just there. I'm like, oh. At least the farmer being the grass-type oh, gym leader. Oh, I just damn. found Maggie's fucking... <laughs> like, Maggie's yeah, aspirations. Ma yeah, Ma Maggie's dad. <laughs> oh, no, mom. <laughs> yeah. Watch oh, that fire last four. Yeah. Oh, I just realized I should probably... Oh yeah, I should probably. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna, yeah, are you gonna to train seven here before you quick. enter? The, yeah, just you're gonna train just in case go Den. Cave, yeah. right? I was gonna have Den just kind of be battle ready in case I needed him for a Pokemon fight because we only have three Pokemon, so I yeah. want to be able to be able to switch in if I need to. Oh, too bad you already caught your Pokemon in that route. Yeah. Also, would would have Articuno been illegal? Yeah, five eighty. That's legal. Oh shit! Really? Five eighty? It's not even six hundred. Yeah, all the all the trios are five eighty. Weird. I didn't realize that they were like the oh, Reggies okay, are all five eighty. Entei, Riku, and Suicune are all them five eighty. Huh? Wow, it's got a move set though. Damn, it's got. I mean, it's Gust and Powder Snow, but like, I'm <laughs> oh my god, it's the other fully evolved version of my starter, a <laughs> uh, possible starter. Yeah. I'm a little afraid of this thing, though. I don't know what it could have. Could be a little dangerous. Yeah, that's like that. That's pretty dangerous. Oh, no. Air Slash is physical. What do I care? Air Slash yeah. is the one that's dangerous. Or Air Cutter, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Air Cutter. Okay, now that's another physical move, though. Yeah, that one's a damaging one, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to swap for safety here. Let's just get in, uh, let's yeah, get in the big Mulder, beady guy, yeah. beefy guy here. Even though it's even I'll though it's one brain quarter burn, damage, it's like, yeah, that's gonna do nothing. Or sky attack, I thought it was yeah, not brave bird. Yeah, fucking nothing. Yeah, he's just gonna deal with this. I'm pretty sure Latios would have been fine because this is a level four Togekiss, so its stats are kind of ass, like everything at level four. Yeah, but better safe than. And sorry. also, also like flying, does that affect dragons normally? Dragon, yeah. It doesn't okay, have immunities thought... by default. Well, immunities, but like, uh, but uh, resistances though. But yeah, oh, they, have, it... they have the f classic four elements: fire, water, grass, and lightning. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go heal up. I think he's almost he's almost seven. He should be oh. arguably battle ready. I didn't realize there was an item down here too. Oh yeah, down those stairs. I'll pick that up quick too. Oh no, it's a zigzagoon. What the other thing I do want to talk about? Just thinking about Arceus still. I know. Like, we're going to be probably talking about this the whole episode, but um, yeah. the gimmick for that game... Well, okay, there's hundreds of gimmicks in every Pokemon game, but oh, yeah. the, the gimmick that stands out to me in that game right now more than ever is the uh, 
the strong versus agi attacks. Which oh, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, as far as gimmicks go, I think there's potential in that one. I don't like the way they implemented it. It just doesn't work. Like you just run strong every single time. There's like maybe one exception to the rule where you'd run agi. Well, if you're gonna one shot them, yeah. Well, no, even then you just go strong. Like you either go neutral or go strong. The agi thing, it like the the bonus speed that you supposedly get. Oh shit, that's very dangerous. Okay, gotcha. Don't fight Mawile with Den. We're learning. Well. The the agi like, have you ever did the drop down where you can actually see the yeah, turn order? Yeah, I play exclusively with that on. Okay, because like if you are about to select agi and you know that you're going to get two attacks in, then you might as well do agi. And that then is literally else. the only exception to the rule. Yeah, that is like I said. You just, and the only way to get that though is based on the Pokemon speed stat. So if you're mm -hmm. super fucking fast compared to the enemy, you can get two attacks in. But the closer your speeds get, the less likely and less frequently that happens. So at a certain point, you're just like, just use the strong one because it doesn't change the turn order and you may as well get the bonus damage out of it. Well, if you fail a strong one, though, you're going to get hit twice and that can be a pain in no, the No, you don't. Again, if you're watching the thing, you don't always trigger it. Depends on speed stat again. Yeah, but most of the time that you're going to go slow enough or you're probably I rarely run into that situation. Maybe on like slow Pokemon you do. But my team is generally fast enough where they go strong and nothing gives a shit. They're just like, yeah, I can still oh, recover wow. for it just fine. Yeah, I, I uh, like with those like grit dust things, like I max out the speed in all of my Pokemon, and I still will get doubled eventually if I use strong. Oh, that's good for XP. Yeah, yeah, yeah except he kind of needs to heal, and I didn't use a potion. Mm. Um, I'll just switch to Jack. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't actually have any potions, so I have to keep on running back to the Pokemon Center every time. But yeah, oh, like I, I did make said, some. I, I think the potential. Money, I think the potential is there for it. I just think they need to tweak it little bits. Um, yeah, like if they if they continued the Legends series, like if they if they made that like a spin off series, that would be pretty cool. And I could think of plenty of other regions where I would. Like, I could see them going back in time for. Yeah. Like... I don't know if I they really went back cool. in time. I think it's supposed to be a fucking Isekai. Or Isekai, or whatever that fucking genre of anime yeah, is Yeah, Isekai. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, not that it would have been legal, but in theory, we could have caught... A, I could have caught a Mewtwo here. Also <laughs> very dangerous. Let's uh, swap to Jack again. <laughs> this is Legendary yeah, Lane, apparently. Yeah, like, I have Articuno in mine, and... Um, yeah, you have Entei and Mewtwo in yours. But I, I think, like I said, as far as, like, Pokemon gimmicks go, that's one of the ones that has a lot of potential if they if they continue to work on it and do it right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't even be opposed <laughs> completely, depending on how they implement it. Oh, I don't have any potions. I have antidotes. All the antidotes. But no potions. But I wouldn't even be completely opposed to them adding it to the main... Oh, shit, you fight me. And not realize that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ran she by her, like, twice already, and she never fought me, but I think it's because I would ran by, like, on her backside or something. So. <laughs> yeah, she's, like, four Pokemon, too, and they're all really low level, so they're really Oops. easy to fight. <laughs> I'm still nervous to keep Den in, especially against a bug type. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to drop Molder in and just... Yeah, I, I do it. also like, because I, 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 I'm fond of when RPGs use speed to um like it's not just you go they go you go they go it's like no like you can potentially get multiple turns in a row um and i like that i think does does, does xenoblade do it that way i forgot arguably i know i know there's a couple of rpgs that do it that way um and i like that like because it, it means that's like well it's more strategic than you go they go you know it's like oh well they could get they could move twice in a row or in some cases if you are like in a fight with like three v one, because that can happen, like you can get swarmed and yeah. like multiple Pokemon can attack your one. I've had that one before, like, just because I thought I was yeah. fighting one and like two others. Like, hey, we're gonna back him up. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that. That can get like really intense. Actually, it's like, oh shit! Like Pokemon managed to be hard for a bit. Yeah. Also, when it comes to the bosses, I've actually oh, shit, died a couple times. Again. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we might have to do that every time, possibly. It seems weird. Know. It shouldn't want to do yeah. that. Oh, yeah, and it also it didn't save your uh, uh, menu style either, did it? Oh, did I do something wrong in the menu? Is that what I did wrong? I might have just hit the B button, the standard, like, 
whatever, just move on. Yeah, because it didn't save my Oh, Togetic's combo either. with uh, a snow warning. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think no matter what, your options menu resets every playthrough. I think. I don't think it's every playthrough. It shouldn't be, because the base ROM for this game. I mean, oh, the base shoot. cartridge for this game. Well, because like, I remember that I used to have like a blue thing for my like text box. Yeah, see, you're back down to frame type 1 yeah, also. Yeah, I, th I think... I th yeah, see, they want you to save it. And if you don't save it, that's what's causing the problem. Oh, no, I, I have been saving mine, though. I've oh, been no. making sure. Yeah, so I think for some reason the ROM is just, like, weird and, like, forgets the options Cartridge. menu. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow, there's a oh, lot of yeah. good shit on this one. But, um... Yeah, like I said, the, the strong week, I think, has a lot of potential, and I would like to mm -hmm. see it... Like you were saying, if you use the right RPG... Um, as much as there's some level of complaint many people could have in this one, the fighting system from the original, oh, it's, it's, um, it has flash fire. Okay. So it's like, <laughs> you can't fight that. Gotcha. Yeah. But, like, if you use the combat system from, like, the original F, uh, FF7, where you oh, have yeah. like, those meters and shit... That would actually yeah. make the cool. Agi and Strong better because then they could literally directly influence the meter and its restore uh, restoration rate. Yeah. Um, I gotta go heal up and grab some potions. Yeah. Or maybe also, actually, I, I grab some Pokeballs. How are you doing for Pokeballs? Uh, good question. I think Pokeballs. I'm gonna have priority over potions, honestly, at this stage. I've got like five. I can get three more. Uh, yeah, I think I'm you can, do I it think you can buy a couple more. I'm going to do it just because... 200? Yeah, I'm going to do it just because I want more than five going into the next uh, the cave here. Yeah, same. Uh, but yeah, also, I do kind of like how they have like legitimate boss battles. Like That's actually kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Because whenever you think of a Pokemon boss battle, it's literally just... It's a just slightly a harder trainer. Fight. Yeah, and it's like, but this is like, no, you actually have to, like, dodge and... Did we ever fight the dipshit kids in here? Or did I oh, ever yeah, fight no, the dipshit didn't. kids in here? I, I know for sure I didn't. Yeah. Oh, shit, I did not. <laughs> I forgot, did they give you an item for beating them? I... That is an excellent question. I don't know. I... Because I don't remember fighting them in any game because i just oh he's using x attack now i'm scared actually because if he has an ice type move that could be very dangerous but i think i'm faster oh, we can go for the kill i can buy kill. three more i oh, can buy shit. three we more balls okay we're fine you tackle get the kill oh yeah by the way speaking of uh money have you <laughs> have you been spending your money on uh uh satchel upgrades that's the about the only thing i've spent money on my my current satchel upgrade cost is two hundred thousand. <laughs> oh my god, it goes beyond even what I thought. Like, like I was, I'm a, I'm on. You start with four layers of four by five. I remember if I if I mm -hmm. recall, I'm on the fourth layer. I'm like two or three or something like that into it, and I assumed like after you double your size, I figured that was the end of it, but apparently yeah. not. I thought I thought so too, and it's like no, it just keeps going. I'm like, is this gonna stop? Like, <laughs> and then eventually it keeps on going up like exponentially. Like, like at from one hundred thousand, it goes up to one hundred and fifty thousand, and then from one hundred and fifty thousand, it goes up to two hundred thousand. So I like, make it's enough start money in that game to do that kind of shit. <laughs> Money, money is so easy to come by. Oh, I know it like, is. Eventually. I just don't do the things you need to do to get that kind of money. What do you do? Because everything you do makes money. <laughs> well, the easiest way to make money is just to catch Pokemon. For each Pokemon you catch, you get paid. Yeah. And I'm not catching every single Pokemon I see. I catch like one, oh. maybe two of each individual type. And I'm like, yeah. good enough for me. Like, I'm not... Also, do you like, I have, like, oh, oh my god! Oh what yeah, the, the little fuck? fucking kindergarten got a Kyogre, that makes sense. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alright, well, um, sure, uh, Dexter, you're- Daxter, you're probably gonna be too high of a level for the gym. No, I'm, pr I'm very confident that the first gym level cap is 15 if we're playing by the, the cap rules here. Yeah, but the Kyogre's gonna push him up to 14. 
Uh, what is this? Because the is... Kyogre gives a ton of XP. Wait, no, I don't need to look at that. What's the guy's name? Rorik, I think? Rorik, Rorik, yep. Yeah, there he is. Now it's popping up. He was like, are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm like, probably not. Yeah, this is him. Core series is what we want. Oh my god, fucking ads. Fucking ads. But yeah, but do you, did you, have you ever gone like, the space-time, like, distortion things? Uh, I went in there once or twice, yeah. Because the, the shards eventually, uh, can be combined with stardust to make star pieces, and you just get shit tons of money. Oh, shit. That's how you do it, huh? Because I got ass tons of the shards, I just don't know what the fuck to do with them. Yeah, e eventually, like, them and stardust will make oh, you just absolutely cap boatloads for, of money. For 15, 15's the 14. cap? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm being, I gotta be careful here. <laughs> um... I'm hitting the cap on a lot of my guys, or close to it here. Because, like, we only have three Pokemon, so it's kind of hard yeah. to not. <laughs> yeah, that guy actually does not battle you. I... Oh, yeah, oh he hey, there's a... Rock slide or there's, there's a Combi or... here the entire time? What the fuck? Okay. He was Rock was a... This would it's be a pretty a... decent move against the gym if he was actually Rock-type in this one. Yeah. And also, I could, eat, I could teach it to Mina. Does I she, mean, does she gain it's, it's, fighting type, or is that just her mega evolution that does that? I think it's just the mega, but I, and I always forget that because it uses it can use so many fighting type moves. Well, it naturally learns a ass ton of them too. God just damn like, it! <laughs> I was expecting to get into a uh, a Pokemon like encounter. I'm before actually kind of okay that. with this if we can make through the cave without fighting because we'll get just a teeny bit more cash here. We can go fight the gym trainers for more cash, buy some more oh, Pokemon, and then come back if we can make it through here without. The encounter. Yeah. And also there's the encounter in the... The, the grass mine pit too. and the mine, yeah. Oh yeah, and up there too, yeah. I forgot north. Okay, stop using protect! Come on! Protect is like failing. the dumbest... Well, protect is like the fucking dumbest move. Like, all it does is just wait... Oh my god, it's used it four times in a row. I didn't even think it could physically work four times in a row. I think it always but, has a chance to work. The chance just diminishes greatly every time you use it until it's down to like point one, and then it's just like, and, the, and then it. when protect finally didn't work, I wow, and then you have a red ice. Okay, uh, but when protect finally failed, I one shot it. <laughs> like hypno. All yeah, right. but all per, all protect right. does is just waste one PP. It's like that's not even well. It's good. It works in like a stall team. Especially if you're the person using Protect has pressure, then you just laugh maniacally as they burn through their... Like, Protect True. early in the game doesn't do a whole lot even because your PP is so high, but in, in a, the competitive scene, your PP generally is going to be between 5 and 15. And also, if you're doing, like, double battles, too, and you know that you, that one Pokemon's the main target, you can Protect and then have both Pokemon waste their moves. Right, like, that I don't can be kind of nice. Disable, so I'm just going to switch here. <laughs> I just ran behind the other <laughs> the other one in the cave. If, I don't if know you if do I'm get into, it, maybe I've yeah. If you, maybe if you do, repelled. if you do get into a, a a Pokemon encounter, then I'll run back in. But ooh, we're right on the edge of that fourteen. We're getting dangerously close. Get a repel. We don't have a repel. Oh hey, I found I found the ID by the way. Uh, oh, I found the, I found the lost I, ID. I triggered the trainer. I'm actually okay with this because it's XP or it's money. And That's I'm a good point. The, and I'm close to the door, so I gotta make it. Yeah. There. I got like four steps, maybe three. I'm just gonna run to the Pokemon Center quick and then heal up. Even though I don't really need it, I am anal about that in Nuzlocke. So, oh yeah, I have items that I can get too. So I'm actually gonna do that too. I'm gonna collect the items that are in here. What did it use this time? Oh, it's trying to supersonic me. How is it missing? I mean, I know Supersonic has god awful accuracy, but this yeah, is doesn't me. It have like... about... It's 55 oh, accuracy. True. But this is yeah. me being targeted. I've never not seen the AI miss more than like one. Oop. Oh, fuck! We're right there! Oh, damn. Oh, We're right, right at there! The door. Right at the. Ooh, and another camera. fucking fire. Oh, oh, is he ground? Oh, no. He might be prime yeah, I think, I think he might be ground fire. Yeah. Let's try and catch him first. Um, I could opt for the side wave. I don't think that can kill based on the random damage it deals. But... Also, if I catch a, if I have a ground type Pokemon though, then it's a wash. Oh, it's a Wormadam. 
Is that bug grass? So that's legal? It's typing is based on its the color. So the green one I think is grass. Yeah, but but bug is the primary though for Wormadan. Yeah, I believe time, right? so, yeah. Cuz I think I think for all typings of Wormadan it's bug primary. Oh, that's right. I'm not flying. Oops. He doesn't have levitate. Okay, didn't take that much damage. Oh, damn. I actually almost caught it already. <laughs> it wiggled like well, three times cuz it doesn't All right, one ball wonder. Let's do it. Fuck you, camera up. Think you're so damn cool. Oh, yeah, that's, dangerous. that's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's Ooh, dangerous. That's dangerous. Magnitude nine. Yeah. Ouch. Um. Shit. My whole team is so vulnerable to ground. Except. Oh for yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> um. There's is ten uses of it. He's got two down, and that's well, his only if you're, attack. If you're, I'm very confident. If you are going to run away, do so now. Because then that'll make me waste less pokeballs. Yeah. I'm trying to think here. Let me let me do some number crunch. I think we might have to sack this encounter. Okay. Because Jack is a high enough level that at times two he could survive most magnitudes. Except but for not maybe like a ten. Nine, ten. The nine well, tens were yeah, maybe nine, but nine uh, maybe, but ten would probably kill him even with the level advantage. He'd still die to a ten magnitude. And, and, and knowing, and knowing our luck. Molder can't. Yeah, Mold, Molder four. Uh, can, a yeah. magnitude five would damn near kill him yeah, if not succeed. Yeah. So and he's got defense, but that's not enough. <laughs> yeah. And then Den. I could survive one more magnitude if it was low pressure, but if it's not low uh, low magnitude, he won't survive. So basically, I get yeah. it would be one Pokeball and then pray. I think we got to sack this encounter. Okay. I think we got to run. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Just play it safe. That's just really dangerous with my team right now. Yeah, I'm just glad that we determined that sooner that la rather than later, so I didn't waste yeah. a bunch of balls. I think I only shot two, so it didn't really hurt too much. Yeah, I'm out one or two. It is kind of sad that we actually could have used them, though. Could we, though? I don't remember if he's ground fire or fire ground. Oh, yeah, good point. I think he's ground fire, too, but... I always find myself double guessing with our new rule set here. I keep on forgetting that these two little like, like weird divots here don't actually like do anything. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Did you find the little hidden turtwig in Arceus? Yeah, there's actually eventually a request to go back there and. Oh get really? It. Yeah, it's, found, as you're entering. As you're entering Area 4, you get a request to go back to Area 2 to get the Turtwig. Oh, I just was wandering around aimlessly, and I kind of duck around, ducked around and shit, and I'm like, Oh, look, there's a Turtwig in this little corner here. Oh, interesting. If you talk to this dirt mound, you get an iron, or you get an item. <clears throat> like, this huge mound right here, it also has an item in it. I don't know if I've ever known that. I, I've never did it either. I just, I lagged, and I didn't turn to the right. Lax incense, eh. I got an iron, which is Power actually very band. appropriate. I believe that's the attack one. Yeah, odd that's keystone. So, yeah. Can I sell that? I think it's <laughs> yeah, that's a. I thought I thought odd keystone was a key item. Weird. Maybe it's not. Is there any other items? Here? I don't think there's any other items you can pick up here that I recall. Uh, I know. I know yeah, up I to the. Healed. What up am I doing? The, I, I know, know up to the market. north. I know up to the north. There's. A couple more items. I'm just gonna try. I yeah. want to try and get more Pokeballs if I can. <clears throat> I just think it's so appropriate that that because like when you got the Lax Incense from that mound, I'm like, oh, I thought like that was one that was always gonna be the same thing because I got an iron from it. And it's like, well, it's like an iron deposit, so actually that kind of makes sense. <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised if iron is what you actually get from going up to that thing. All right, this could be cool, but I think it's just worth the uh, four thousand eight hundred. Promote special defense, but reduce. Oh yeah, you speed. can sell an odd keystone. Shit. How much does it cost? Ooh, that's a uh, that's pretty solid. How do you use the odd keystone again? I don't think if I've ever caught. Spirit I don't here. even. I don't even think it's physically possible in an emulator like this because you have to talk to other players in the underground. Oh, then yeah, that's gone. That's money. And gone. then in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, they changed it slightly, but. Yeah, but I don't think it's physically possible. In, in, power band for 15. Either. I don't know if I need 15 yet. I'm going to hold on to the power band for now. And let's get 10 Pokeballs at a time. Oh, yeah, I have the power belt. Huh. Oh, yeah, I also have an electrolyzer, so if that ever happens. 
spell tag it's a hard there's got some hard things to that are to sell but they might Special. be worth it just because of how desperate we are for balls yeah okay i'll I see how i'm gonna grab a oh potion. 100 for wise glass fuck no i'm keeping my wise glasses 50 for the spell tag no fuck it i'm keeping my spell tag uh that's true uh that's probably gonna be yeah. it's you know it's a little bit tougher i mean the odds of I... getting an electabuzz <sighs> might or be an worth it because like Electrovire is so fucking strong. Yeah, but it might be worth it just for balls. Yeah, that's a good point. I I, I think I think the encounter the, the balls a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Yeah. Alright, I'm know? gonna I'm gonna opt no potions. I'm going straight just I want all my Pokeballs. Also, I could probably just get How am I doing fucking... now? Look at that, I got forty the... Pokeballs. Well, between my Pokeballs and the Premier Balls, but Jesus. Now I got some fucking catching power, and I feel really confident going into these new locations. Can't, what, oh shit, wrong one. That one. Oh yeah, I guess I'm yeah getting a lot too. And I got the premiere ball, haha! Alright, so you want to do the grass pit first, maybe pick up another item that we can sell for more Pokeballs? Yeah. Yeah, so you said you had how much uh, Pokeballs? I had 40. Including the premiere. Oh, wait. oh, you got a luxury from one of the pickups. I only have 21. Yeah, yeah. I only have I 21. Like, Where do you get a luxury? I want someone to give me a luxury ball. I was going to heal up. I realized that I'm not at full HP. I don't know when that happened, but... <laughs> I thought I... Oh, for against the... Or, or worm it in. Duh. But yeah, what do you get? I wanna, I'm curious what you get. Yeah. Because there's an oh. item in both corners, isn't there? Ooh, that's real Ooh. good. Except it's normal type. Yeah. Which means well, I'm hold on. Uh, don't don't do anything oh, yet anything. because I, I could maybe run into a normal type too, and then that's a you know yeah. mulligan. But if and you wind up with a with a pretty solid encounter, it might be worth the Mina and Den box and go for Snorlax whatever you got, just because Snorlax is good, and if you get something pretty good. Yeah, I mean Snorlax is such a tank that you Snorlax can just a stall boss. anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we don't. Do we have any water? To, to, that's messing up. I don't think we with? do have any water. Yeah, I could probably pound it, right? That pound's not gonna kill a fucking Kingdra. Yeah, I'm just Ooh. side wave because like it's like, got so much HP. There's no way my side wave's gonna do enough to actually fucking. Do you, Do you think I should risk a crit? I wouldn't personally, but I mean that's all up to you. Yeah, all right, I don't want it. Snorlax inside the Pokeball. Oh, no! Fat. Oh, I, I had, I had three wiggles. Damn! I totally thought I was getting it that right. time. Get in the ball, you fucking fat panda! Ah! <laughs> oh, my game froze for a sec. <laughs> oh, did you click off it? No, I, I was just lowering the freaking. I was lowering Stay the frame rate. the Pokeball. Because I, I had it on like double. Next, I think he could potentially uh, kill with a crit. So we're just going to swap to my tank, who can absorb these tackles like no one's business. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll go back up to this. No, it, feels, it felt too slow. Damn it. Stay oh, in. you know why? Stay you know in. why I'm failing? Stay in, you. You know why I'm failing? I had I didn't use my premier ball. Oh, is that my problem? Is does Snorlax feel like he's? <laughs> wow, Kingdra is like no, fuck that. Is, is I that hated my, the other that, balls. That might be my problem. Ball. Snorlax, like I'm a premier Pokemon. I deserve this, and that's true. He totally deserves a premier ball. You're a fucking fat bitch. You're gonna stay inside the fucking poke wall if it wow. kills you. King Kingdra doesn't even want to live in the lap of luxury, apparently. That's a shame. Oh, man. Yeah! Alright, well, now you just gotta I, wait for me to eventually I had to catch show, this thing. I had to show my Kingdra, like, a couple other balls that it didn't like, and it's like, you know what? Maybe Pokeballs aren't so bad. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> luxury. Apparently... What do you think I am? Fucking Trump? <laughs> yeah. It's like, God, no. I Please. I, I don't want to live in this posh place. You want to... 
put me in the shitty regular normal one. Yeah, yeah go right the ahead. Slums, that's where I belong. <laughs> yeah. I, I just realized I really am a trash mammal, so or not there trash it is. mammal, but yeah. All right, and they both are female, so it's a female duo. Ooh, ooh. Uh, can I do this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's yours. All right. All right. Fine. I'm gonna look this one up because I'll let you have, I'll let you have uh, uh, Lena. But I want, I believe it's Riley. Is that you pronounce it? Oh, yeah. From uh, Dota. Yeah. Okay, it's Rayleigh. My bad. I always pronounced it Rylex. Like, I'm an idiot, apparently. <laughs> also, we can say it's from the anime for everyone else <laughs> out there. Because they show up in Season 2. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I just got another... I got an icicle plate? Oh, my God. Okay, I have a fucking... That's my second Arceus plate, Another fucking berry. I've got all the berries. I... I, I've been... Yeah, I've been picking up a lot of them, too. And they don't sell for anything. Oh, hi, Crobat. Been Weakens cool. the super effective. That's actually one of the better berries. I like those ones. The one off reduce a psychic attack type thing. Bright power. Yeah. That's the same as the incense, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, I think it lowers accuracy of the opponent. Yeah, it lowers accuracy. So it's the same as the incense I sold to get Pokeballs. So I kind of just made up for that. Well, I know that I'm going to have another about 10,050 because I got a Reaper Cloth. Oh, nice. There's so, yeah. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's see here. Bright powder. How much does that stuff for five? Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Oh yeah, we should check our abilities and stuff. The very cells for ten. Very cells for ten. That's okay, just yeah, obviously. Obviously, I'll take right? the ten. Honestly. Cover no! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Not only is Kingdra the false dragon, but you also got a Kingdra with a shitty ability. Yes, I got a Snorlax that can't be touched in a sandstorm. <laughs> that that's the second Pokemon in this fucking playthrough that goddamn has normalized because my fucking like starter had normalized too. The the Beldum has normalized. Okay, so now the the question becomes: at least you found out the Beldum evolves. It might like lose the normalized though. It might. We don't know because yet. well because we had one Pokemon evolve and its ability changed. Right, my Cricketot. But I think it changes its ability naturally when it evolves. Oh, it doesn't. I think. I don't know. So yeah, now the, the question... I don't know enough about Cricketot, Cricketoon, because I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. So now the, the question is, who who gets boxed this time? Because um, I got two oh, yeah. really good Pokemon between Latios and Snorlax, so I'm kind of okay with either. So I guess it comes down to you. Do you rather your Kingdra that you just caught, or do you think that the Baneri is going to do more good? See, until I looked at the abilities, I would have been like, yes, immediately I'm using Kingdra. But after seeing that it's fucking normalized, I am more willing to say sorry to Kingdra. Okay. So we'll keep Mina and Dan. Yeah. I, I would like to use Kingdra. But normalized. This is, is such just... a weird playthrough, like compared to our first one, where we're like we killed everything we saw. This one, we caught almost everything, and based on our rule set, they're not usable. So they just sit in the. Yeah, box. we still can't use any of them. Uh, we started our last encounter. We might get a fourth Pokemon before we fight the gym. Well, I mean, you had four before the gym last time, so it won't be that much different. Lava Cookie. There we go. That's a full heal. Oh, lava cookie. Oh, oh, the dream. Oh, oh dude. fucking boss. And the fucking <laughs> Shadow that it's tied to. Why not? You know right? what? Why you not? know what? I'll take it. I'll take it for your Gliscor. You know, uh, the, uh, the Gl Gliscor is not flying primary, right? <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty sure he's ground fly, not flying ground. Thank God, because yeah, then I otherwise this would be it. a wash. Gliscor's got plenty of HP. No, he's defense. That might kill. Okay, it didn't kill. We're not going to be any more... Ooh, knockoff. That's dangerous. Uh, let's swap to... Wait, did it just say it knocked off a leaf stone? Yeah, apparently Den's got a leaf stone that I never bothered to <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> ha, eat that. Poison jab doesn't affect me. Alright, well, this is stone... Glysaur. He deserves a premier ball. Leaf stone being an evolutionary item, that could sell for a bit. That's right, Glysaur. No, come on, it's a premier ball, dude. Like, you're the premier fucking catch. 
And he really is. Like, he's fucking awesome. Glysaur is so boss. He is G so Glysaur, impossible to kill. Like, I know that they say that, like, Gyarados is, like, the number one, like, Nuzlocke Pokemon. Oh, yeah, by far. There he but, is. But Glysaur, uh -huh. though, in Gen 4, is, like, also, like, up there. Glysaur, <laughs> Glysaur's really good by default. He gets better in 5th Gen. I mean, I think it can happen in this Gen, too, because I believe the, um, the randomized ability means he could land with it. But in 5th Gen onward, his hidden ability was um, Poison Regeneration or whatever it's called, or Poison Heal. So you literally just give the thing a Toxic Orb. And he poisons himself, oh. and so now not only can he, now he's immune oh, to status yeah. conditions, and he's healing yeah. every fucking turn from being poisoned instead of taking the damage. I know what I'm going to have the name is is uh, uh, that the name if yours is male. It is yes. This is Iago and Jafar. <laughs> we have the parrot and like the big evil looking. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Where's Jay? Oh, no, wait at the end. <laughs> It's two apps, right? Jafar. Oops. I don't actually know. I'm off. I, I'm pretty confident in the two apps. I'm gonna double check that one though. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, like yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen his name being spelled. Nope, maybe it's in one Kingdom Hearts. Okay, because like maybe in Kingdom Hearts I've seen it spelled, but that's it. There All is right. like the actual like there are people apparently because when I typed in Jafar, it's like, are you sure you didn't mean Jafar? But below oh. the below the are you sure you didn't mean was the actual Jafar from Disney's Aladdin. Yeah. So apparently yeah. the the you can spell it with two Fs, they just didn't. Yeah, so apparently my chat hot has heat proof. Poison cure. Oh, oh my oh. god. That that's is amazing. Really powerful actually, yeah. Oh, and he has a silver powder. Yeah, that's too. bug type attacks that he doesn't have, at least not yet. I want my Leafstone. <laughs> I didn't realize he had. Oh yeah, what else did he have? Poison Jab and Sand Attack? Is that it? Or did he have anything more? Damn, look at that. That's a good setup right there. <laughs> um, depending on what the gym Oh, yeah, is. yeah. What's he, what's he got here? Uh, he's Careful, which I believe ups defense, if I'm not mistaken. I think it lowers speed? I have to, I don't actually know that one, and this is not a gen that tells you. Now you gotta which look one? at it. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't have, like, the the colors uh, in the stats, so you can't tell. Yeah, I think it's ups defense, lowers speed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I stopped kind of learning what those were, because the games just started, like, kind of telling you. So careful. I Oh, no, forgot. careful is up special defense, lower special attack. Okay, so that's even better, arguably. Yeah, we'll see. Because now he's even bad. tankier. Yeah. Because special defense is always his weakness, but now he's got a slight little tiny 10% buff to it, you know? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That magic coat, though. Oh, my God. Do you know why so very yeah. few Pokemon have that, <laughs> that ability naturally? It's so fucking good. At first, for a second, I thought that was Wonder Guard. I'm like, oh, my God. But No, oh. we turned those ones off, thankfully. You can't end up with Oh, that. yeah, we did turn off Wonder Guard, yeah. Although, yeah, with Glycer, that's stupidly powerful. Because it's like, what, <laughs> ice-type attacks? How many Pokemon have ice-type attacks? And possibly could you, water? Could you imagine if you were doing a randomizer and you got, like, a Sableye with Wonder Guard and it was before Gen 6? <laughs> it's like, oh, it just can't ever die. Well, cool. you can still do it post-Gen 6 with um, with Fire-type Pokemon. And I've seen it. I've seen them do it in a... Um, it wasn't high-tier competitive league because... I, well, first of all, when I did play competitively, I didn't play in the high tiers because it's boring. But um, in the in other tiers, like they would do that, they'd throw out Gengar with skill swap, and they'd skill swap Wonder Guard off of Shin Ninja, and then skill swap it onto Arcanine or some other fire type, and then use that burnout where they lose type, and then bam, they have no type, they have no weakness. Oh yeah, because because of the yeah because burnout yeah makes it so you, you lose your fire typing. Yeah. So then the the trick would be <clears throat> you'd have to find a way to do damage via like confusion or poison or something like that. Mm hmm. So it's a it was a nightmare to deal with, but yeah, it was fucking insane. I oh, never man, pulled really? that strat off because I had more class, but yeah. Um. Okay, Daxter, I can't give you a single more level up. <sighs> yeah, you should probably just go straight to uh, what's his name. Rourke, okay, Yeah. Well, there's trainers on here though. Yeah, but you can. I guess if you're training the other team. Yeah, I just needed. To, I just needed to use. Uh, the problem is here. Here's the other thing to keep in mind. Oh, here's the other thing to keep in mind. If you can't use 
Daxter, I also lose Jack. So please don't fucking overlevel. Oh me. yeah, no, I, I've been keeping that in mind too. Yeah, that if one of us fucks up, it hurts the other one. Hey, I also just I'm not gonna say that until we get to the gym. I was about to jinx the like something right. major. I gotta poison jab this. I'm not gonna be able to kill it with Absorb Ooh. plus Leech Seed. Oh, it actually that opted for the Leech Seed on the screen. attack did way more damage than I thought it would do. Die, uh, fool. Okay. Die in a um, moment here, fool. <laughs> After you keep my stun sword. Okay, die next year, fool. <laughs> Okay, no, you were able to get it off. Uh, I just made my first use of that magic coat, though, as his leech seed d couldn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just learned mirror move. That could be funny. Mirror move? That could be very useful, depending on what uh, what certain uh, trainers have. I don't have a paralyzed heal. It's, it's really funny when you have mirror move and you're fighting like a ghost or I a do. dragon I type. A cookie. It's like, haha, your, po your move is stab, like. Just killed you now. Because you're weak to your own typing. Yeah. The thing to or be really you careful of, remember, is possible counter and mirror codes. Oh, Those yeah. are always really dangerous. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't remember. Uh, if it's a fighting type in general, I'm going to be cautious. Like if I, I if I'm going up against a fighting type, to kill a period. I don't want to fight a uh, Skyplate. Okay. Could be pretty good on oh, uh, nice. Glissor eventually. All right, is this guy got a Kyogre again. That's gonna just fucking butt fuck me. Oh yeah, he's the one that had the Kyogre. Yeah, he's got a Sceptile. Guess what? Sceptile's really vulnerable to Poison Jab. <laughs> Eat shit. Okay, fine. Eat shit after you absorb from me. Okay, stop making me run into Pupitar. Ooh, I can't. And takes have, the yeah, poison. Fight that. I don't think he's going to die. No, he's nowhere close to, to dying. I can't. I don't have priority. I wish I had a priority move so I could go for the kill before he got that off. Priority uh, move, by the way, also really huge in Nuzlocke, don't forget. So, you know, if you can snag a priority move on someone, it's probably worth it. Yeah. And the same goes for priority moves being used against you, yeah. too. Yeah. Ooh, a double level up off the Sceptile. Jafar's on fire. Going for the third... Going for the third. Didn't quite get there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a third stage Pokemon, so that actually makes sense. That it would give you a lot of XP. Astonish. Eat shit. Poison Jet. Ice Beam. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. I'm I'm always I'm so nervous about that right now just because any any Pokemon with times four weakness to anything I'm so <gasps> nervous of in a Nuzlocke because of just how much you can get shit on from that. Oh, that's right. He has like a really fast. I think he's medium fast for his XP curve, which is why he's leveling up so fast. Oh yeah, that's cool. And yeah, you don't ever get him at such a low level, so you don't really notice it. Bro, Normally, when you have a Gliscor, you're yeah, you're further along. Speaking of Hell, XP sometimes curves, you can, we, can we talk about this? Because I, I thought of this when we're talking about XP curves, and when it happened in what the hell, Pokemon Arceus. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about Game Freak's misimplementation of the erratic and sporadic XP curves? Seriously, like, <laughs> like let's just let's just rant about that for just a little bit here. All right. So for those of you who don't know, starting in Generation Three onward, two new XP curves were added to the, the game. Uh, erratic and sporadic. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which one is linked to which, but one of them works in the way that you have your total XP to get to level 100 is less than any other XP curve, but the earlier levels require more XP per level than the lesser XP curves. And later in the game, you require a lot less XP per level to reach the higher levels. It's kind of sounds interesting. I uh, found a Master Ball. Fuck yeah. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I right. found it in the first playthrough, and then you found it now. Damn. And then in the second uh, XP curve, it is the exact opposite. You require more XP in total to reach level 100, but you level yeah. up faster early in the game and slower later in the game. 
Yeah, and the now, Pokemon that they gave them to are fucking... And now here's what Game Freak sense. did, which drives me up the fucking wall. The bug-type Pokemon, the early game bug-type Pokemon, were the most common receivers of the less XP to reach level 100, but slower to level up early in the game. And mm -hmm. the pseudo-legendaries were the ones to receive the... You level up faster early in the game, but slower later in the game. And... To a lesser extent, a lot of people would just say, well, yeah, that makes sense. It should take you longer to get to level 100 on the, the pseudo-legendaries. The game doesn't end at level 100. You get to the end credits right around level 50-ish or so. And that's also yeah. conveniently right around the time those two XP curves balance out and they'll eventually uh, switch to being the opposite way they are per, uh, were acting before that. All right? That means that getting a shitty-ass fucking bug Pokemon from 10 to 20 takes eons of fucking time in grinding mm -hmm. out that xp because they just take yeah. so damn long to reach level higher levels meanwhile <laughs> your Gibble... oh, why did you fucking oh you're fucking losing people already i got crit one shot yeah god damn that's and, glycer uh, yeah yeah that's that's a glycer uh, i mean I'm, i knew that's how glycer would go because glycer wasn't going to be the one to die yeah but i didn't expect it to be this early yeah, I didn't expect a crit one shot. That was uh, a little painful. All right, we, now we got to talk about that too. But I got to finish my little rant here because I'm, I'm on yeah, a roll. yeah, I'm on no, a fucking no roll. So the pseudo legendary, so your pseudo legendaries level up faster when you catch them at the earlier levels, and then slow down after they're fully evolved and have all their power, which doesn't make any fucking sense. The bug Pokemon should level up faster early in the game so that they can make use of their higher stats and more efficient, you know, leveling curve. Whereas they slow down later in the game, but who cares? No one wants to level 100, you know, Beautifly or Dustox. Whereas <sighs> the pseudo-legendaries, if you swap their curve out as it should be, now require effort and time investment in their low-level weaker forms in order to get to their high-level forms, at which point the game rewards you by saying, hey, you got to the higher levels, fuck it, just go ahead and just cruise to level 100. You got, you you suffered to this point, now you get the fucking mm -hmm. easy street. Yeah. But no, they fuck <sighs> that shit up, and as a result, I hate Wormhole and any of the, I hate a lot of the, um, the shitty XP curve ones, because they were just implemented so poorly. Yeah. And I remembered that when I was playing Arceus, because I got a Wormhole, and I was like, oh, shit. It's this thing. <laughs> and I had to fucking... I just left it in the party. I'm like, thank God for the XP all. It's the only reason it's going to have any XP. And it still yeah. fell behind, obviously. Because well, it's yeah. trash. All right. Well, Jafar, it was been fun. I knew you were going to go in a similar manner to this. I just didn't expect it to be so soon. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be so soon either. The thing was, like, it was, granted it was a Lucario, but I didn't know Lucario was going to have fucking Metal Claw. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not really Lucario knowing Metal Claw, it's Chad it being a piece of shit. Well, that's also very true. <laughs> it's it's uh, the weakness of a lot of our, our Pokemon we get in this scenario where one of the really strong ones is tied to a really weak one is that the strong one's going to be just fine until the weak one isn't. And there's nothing we can replace. So. No, we're hey, stuck at hey. three. Well, no, we could. We could swap out uh, J and D. Because remember, we were talking about that before. If we swap out the fire grass type, it puts two more in their place. So we could have five for the gym leader. We'd have to do a bit of grinding, but we could have five for the gym leader. Also, we said we can't use level 15, right? Oh, shit. You overleveled the gym, didn't you? Well, because I didn't have a choice. Because the lower level one that was about to survive died. And I could only beat it with, with Sceptile. I'm going to go double check Rourke again for my own peace of mind. Yeah. But I'm pretty because sure we might Because we might not have a choice but to make it so we have five. Yeah. Also, that means... It also means that Jack and Daxter won't die. Yeah, in the gym fight, anyways. <laughs> Oh, yeah. fuck you and your dark type. Think you're so fucking cool. I'm gonna use Molder here. I don't know why, just to get into level yeah. 14, I guess. But uh, like the reason, the reason why I had chat out against the sept or the Lucario is like, well, it's yeah, Krandos level 14. It's only, so. it's only, yeah, shit. Well, oh, fuck. Jack and Daxter so, are not gonna be joining us in the the first gym battle. 
But they got us to the first gym, and that's what. Yeah, they got us there. They they did a lot of carrying up to that point. Unfortunately, they're gonna be real disappointed probably <laughs> in the outcome of them being after being benched here. Yeah, and Daxter's like, "Come on, man! I saved like." I was the reason why you beat that Lucario, and now I'm being benched because of it? Come on! <laughs> oh, damn, it's a blissy. Alright, do we have- is, is metal physical? The metal shards or whatever that I got? Or do I have to tackle this? That's iron defense. Oh, it's physical. Okay, fuck it. Yeah. We don't care. We're- have all the de uh, special defense you want. Um, it's just a matter of cutting through your HP at this point. No, yeah, so the HP stat is the- wow! But again, it's HP. HP I forgot, means yeah. nothing without your defense. Yeah, because it because it has a tear. Yeah, because I forgot. Blissey has a terrible defense. Yeah, which it's, is weird for a tanky Pokemon to have a terrible. Because it's only there to just soak special attacks. Yeah, it's like Glissor. Like Glissor has pretty modest HP. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Mm -hmm. But he makes up for it because his defense stat is so damn high that you just can't fucking touch his HP unless you're using a special attack. Yeah. And Blissey's kind of in a similar ballpark, except for that HP stat means, again, nothing if they're targeting your defense in this case. Well, and also, um, he gets some really good type coverage, too, which is also yeah, very which handy. Is insanely good. Two immunities is great. Okay, so Jack's going here for now. All right, <laughs> I so... like how we both put them in the corner just because we know we're getting him back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, so... like, no, we're going to put you in a special spot. Um, yeah, so what do we got it? here? We should be in so order, we have, right? Okay, we have normal and... Yeah, I'm normal really... bug, and then he's Unmarked. dragon primary, I believe. Yeah, yeah he's dragon bug. over primary. So I have dragon and rock. I should check. I don't think he's steel primary. I think he's rock prime, yeah. Yeah. So dragon cause... rock. So dragon we've got normal bug. ground. Uh, I, oh, no, ice, sorry. We have ice. We can throw in... Oh, wait. We probably... Yeah, I can't because right execute... Oh, oh you, yeah. You probably want Wallerine, so I'll take uh, Grodel here. I think that's a better... Because Grodel's fine, and Wallerine's yeah. really good. Yeah. And then we can swap in the, uh, Murtog and Zigzagoon, or no, do we go... No, my Baneri. Because my Baneri oh, yeah, is right. normal. So, who's this one tied to? Beldum? Beldum's Prime Steel, yeah. so that's legal. Let me grab these yeah, two. Yeah, Steel Fire, yeah. There we go. So there's a four. Would have been five, but... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was a Lucario. And it just I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming Chadot. Because Chadot's garbage. <laughs> Chadot's so terrible. Yeah. It's got a niche. It's got a really good niche. And if you know how to abuse that niche, Chadot's pretty solid. Really? What's the niche? Um, Just the combination of like Mirror Move and Parish Song type shit. Like if you know oh, how, sure. if you know how to abuse like move sets like that, you can do a lot of work with Chadot because it is pretty fast. But if yeah, you're not doing sense. like Parish Song abuse or other type of like weird setup stuff like that, I think Baton Pass is another thing you can do with it. Oh yeah, it does work Baton Pass. But it? if you're not doing like weird shit with it, then it's just taking up space. Oh, Costello had a TM on him. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, he has hydration. <laughs> I forgot about that. Neat. <laughs> right. Yeah, what TM was it? It was TM1. Oh, oh, Focus Punch. Oh, shit! He's not guaranteed rock in this one, remember? Oh, wait, no, Focus... Yeah, and also Focus Punch sucks. Because it's the one where if you get hit, you lose it. <clears throat> I just realized how hard it's going to be to grind these bastards. Mm -hmm. Because my team is already close to the gym limit. Yeah... Oh, good. There's a Nuzleaf in here, though, so I can... Uh, Wallery can actually hold his own, though. Oh, wait! I forgot... <laughs> I forgot, though. It's super effective against me, too. <laughs> Don't lose crit. another one. Don't if lose another crit, one. If you Don't crit, lose another one. Oh, my God! Why did you Why say something? You Why did you say something? Actually, I said it. I said that, oh, if he crits, that's gonna be... Why... Why can't you just switch? Just Cause... switch train. It's fine. Dude, dude, okay. no, do you see the levels of these? Like, <laughs> they don't have much just, room. I'm just saying, you switch to anyone else. So Rivet's got to get some XP here. Yeah, no fire types. I'm not going to bother. 
Uh, I guess Den and use Psy Beam because it ignores type. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> this is the one thing about Nuzlocke that drives me f fucking up Gotta the walls. Gotta play though. around those crits. Like, no, I hate grinding. Grinding is what pisses yeah, me off. There's, there's a, there's <laughs> a part of me that wants to uh, hack in a bunch of rare candies and just rare candy abuse before gym battles, but then never touch them type of thing. Yeah. Because it really speeds up the whole gameplay uh, thing. Because, like, what, what happens is, is I start grinding, and then I get impatient, and then things die. <laughs> I mean, like I said, we, we could opt to hack in rare candies, and we'll just, you know, be honor-bound not to use them until right before a gym battle. Yeah. Who are we losing? We're losing Abbott and Costello, I believe, right? Yeah. Okay, well, now we're down okay. to three Pokemon for the gym battle. Again. Because <laughs> that's what it was the first time, too. Wait, what's the what's the thing that... What's your Laurel? Uh, oh, yeah, we might be able to get more in, I suppose. Because I just lost a Grass type, and you lost Ice... Or you lost Water Prime, right? No, Ice Prime. Ice Prime, yeah. So... Yeah, we could do Execute and whatever your Laurel is. Okay. Ice or yeah. is he ground? Ice, yeah. E either way, I think we can yeah. do it. Ice or ground. Yeah. Oops. Okay, well, we're back up to four, I guess. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I kind of almost want to go straight to the gym. <laughs> I don't even... I don't With two Pokemon and hope you can somehow fucking come out of it alive? Yeah. Hey, right. it's two Pokemon and two Death Fodder, alright? <laughs> like... <laughs> it's Oh, fine. I just realized Dan's got the Flash Fire. Powers up by when hit by a fire move. Oh, that's useful. I have two runaways. I have runaway on Peloswine. <laughs> my fucking oh, 11 yeah. speed Pokemon is like, don't worry, I can run away from anything, boss. I forgot I forgot what my execute had, yeah. Oh! It's a fat ass. Okay, yeah, he just moves last all the time. That's... Why is it that my Pokemon I mean, it's, abilities it's always honestly, suck? <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst case scenario, because Executor and Execute aren't that fast to begin with. But it sucks that you didn't get an actual ability that's worth a damn. Are you? Could have gotten a Gibble? Oh man. That hurts. That hurts. Comes with Sandstream? Damn. That's really good too. A Sandstream Gabba Garchomp would be fucking sick. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna turn to my resignation. I'm mad. <laughs> Uh, oh, damn, that would have been so nice. Fuck. Who did you get on this road? I forgot. Uh, oh, I got you Snorlax. Got... Yeah, I got Snorlax. Snorlax. And you got, um... Who the fuck is Snorlax paired with? Oh, one sec. Oh, yeah. Alright, thank you. Just got some tax stuff, and yeah, Execute is doing nothing to this gibble. Oh, Upper rakes it up. I'm stupid. Well, it does damage. That's dangerous. Also, it's Psychic type, which is very dangerous. Um. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lavatar. Yeah. We'll just go. Everybody well, get, this will be the everybody gets XP battle. We could have had two decent pseudo legendaries here. Damn, that sucks. Power snow. Like if you had Larvitar and I had Gibble, that'd been awesome. That'd been really fucking sick. Yeah, Trantar's pretty good. Garchomp's broken as all hell. That Garchomp is yeah insane. When people say that he's the strongest Pokemon in Gen 4, I... Well, not legendary. It's like, I'm inclined to kind of definitely believe that. Yeah. Like, there's I, a I reason, think he's... There's a reason he joined Salamence in the Ubers tier, despite not being a legendary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot Salamence was in there, too, yeah. Yeah, Salamence... Between Salamence and Garchomp... 
I think Salmon's technically wins is is faster. But but Salmon's is faster, so I no, think between Gotrump's the two, faster. he is. He's got two base. He's got two base speed on Salamence. Oh and wow! I thought his, atta yeah, his thought attack stat is ever so slightly lower, but he makes up for that by the fact that his HP is higher. His special attack is so damn low in comparison that his defense stats are through the fucking roof in comparison. Mm. And then he has that two extra points in speed to make him. So Garchomp is a little bit better than Salamence. With the yeah, exception okay. of the fact that Salamence is flying, being immune to ground is generally preferred over being immune to electricity. Yeah. But and by also, no means... <laughs> yeah, and I just realized they both are four times weak to ice, which is kind of funny. Yeah. I mean, all the dragons were up until Gen, like, 5. With the exception of Kingdra, because Kingdra's cheating. Oh, yeah, that's a good Kingdra's point. Kingdra's always the forgotten one. Dragonite, Dragonite's flying, too, isn't it? Yeah. Weird. And um, then there was uh, Flygon, who is four times weak to ice. Oh, God, it uses Leech Life. Okay, that... I, it's oh, not yeah, I forgot Leech Life. life. It's yeah, not I forgot Leech Life leech sucks. Life. That scared me, because I'm, I'm used to good Leech Life I would life switch now. out, though, if I were you. Or you're gonna die. Uh, I don't think I can, because I used up or... Yeah, I can't. I'm stuck. Calm down. Uh, calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> calm down, please. I don't want to lose another one. Calm down. No. no. Well, that's another one. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's a problem that we are saddling the probably the weakest of the two of us with, like, the worst Pokemon of all time. Well, we don't have but... much of a choice. It's We're literally digging out <laughs> our box. Like, we lost Sceptile. No, no, I, I, I mean that. I mean that. To, I'm saying that to the game. I'm like, could, could you please give me some good ones that I can use? Because, like, I kind of want some good Pokemon. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> like, you know, Gibble instead of Kingdra. That would be cool. Kingdra's fine. It's just its ability kind of hoses it. And it's still not yeah. terrible. Its stats are still insane. <sighs> oh, well, I'm not gonna get to ditch Laurel yet. Because we gotta kill a Magneton first. Do oh, I have for the... for the Ember? No, I think I just put it safe. We're just gonna swap to Den and Psy wave it. If I was like 9, I'd probably go for the Ember. But Magneton's got so much special attack. And now it's lowering special defense, which is even worse. Luckily, I resist a likely attack, so I should be okay. Now I'm not so sure, though, because I think it's harshly, right? Yeah, we're uh, we're not staying in against that. Even resisting electric is not enough for me to feel comfortable against that. Yeah, and this is all we've got now, too. We don't have any replacements anymore. All right, we're going to swap back, though, now that the stats have reset. Does it only have Tackle and Metal Sound? That's actually not so bad. I just didn't know if it had, like, Thundershock or something. It would just blow me out of the water with uh, all these Metal Sounds it keeps putting on me. My team is so bad right now. I don't think I'm surviving the gym because I don't have Daxter. Maybe you'll get really Wait. lucky. Maybe the gym will have a bunch of shit that's weak to whatever you have I, left. I have I have a Baneri that has normal type moves. I have a Beldum who hurts itself and uses only normal type moves. And then I have a Cricketot that only has Fury Cutter for damaging moves. Well, I have Fury Cutter, Pound, and Takedown are the only okay, three damage so, moves see, I this, have. <laughs> this is where, this is where, since we are allowing items, we can show you just how broken items are. What you're gonna do is you're gonna buy like two to three X defense and like two to three X special defense, depending on what his first Pokemon is. You're gonna spam whichever one you need. Then you're gonna put on like three X attacks, and then you're gonna Fury Cutter his entire fucking team to death because they'll just build up on the first one and then slaughter everything else with the high level. Fury cutter. Okay, so then I have a very good question for you. Where the hell do you get X attacks and X defends it before not, gym one? <laughs> no, those are not until like oh. later in the game, like way later in the game. It's probably because they're broken as shit. <laughs> I sold my Reaper cloth though. Uh, <laughs> you can show the power of items by using potions. <laughs> 
I don't like using push. Like I don't like using items in the middle of a battle. Oh, oh, we have net balls already. They're I mean, really expensive yeah, though, but they're, they're worth it. Yeah, but they're they're good. But yeah, we don't have enough money. All right, Mulder's getting a little close to his level up. Then get a little close. Ah. The grinding is kind of the boring part. Maybe we should just stop the episode here and cut to to when we're actually ready to to fight the jib. But, but if, if we lose anything during the grind, though, then they'll they'll figure it out when they're not in the party. <laughs> they'll figure out when we go to the uh, the gym leader and we're like, oh, they only have two Pokemon. I wonder how that. Oh. Uh... Another I just have a... two though, and maybe should be able to handle himself in this region. I just have the strange, I just though. have the strange feeling that like I'm gonna lose all my Pokemon during the grind. <laughs> then it'll be even more confusing than when they, we start the next episode, <laughs> and they're like, "Hey, why are they back in the first town? <laughs> why do they have zero Pokemon?" Uh, well, no, we would have Daxter, and we would have, no, we they just couldn't fight the we, gym. We started with Rivet and uh, and uh, Kit. Oh, there's there's no way that they won't die. Like, no, the the first to die is Kit. No, I'm team. just saying, like, we'd start the game over because we'd lose. I'm saying if we no, lost, we, if you lost everyone have, via we'd grinding, have we'd have Daxter. And if uh, you lost everyone via grinding, we'd be we white out. You lose the game. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. You don't get to use the Pokemon that you still had in the box at that point, do you? Yeah, for Daxter's sake, you better not wipe out at the gym. <laughs> you can't say it against this, though. Gosh, I just... I, I have the lowest of hopes. This game has just been kicking my ass by giving me, like, nothing but shit. I mean, the wall ring was good. Yeah. But, I mean... The wall ring was really good. You know, it's just and then like... you squandered oh. it. What? How did I squander it? Because you saw it had Razor Leaf and you didn't swap out. Well, I also saw that the Razor Leaf did like a tenth of his HP. <laughs> like... No, it did enough where the crit could kill. And you could see that. If, I mean, if you yourself, crits, you crits, yourself even said, like, oh, the crit could kill, but he won't crit. No, no, I was saying, oh, the crit could, like, hurt. I didn't think kill. The crit could kill from his HP. Oh. If you take one-third of your HP from an attack, then a crit, which is double, is two-thirds of your HP, which is the remaining. No, it was, it was, like, it was like a fourth. It was like a fourth, because he no, did, like, a it low... Like, it was like a third. No, he had he had like it was like it was it was underneath the V, in level. That's about a third, give or take. I don't know, but I'm not going to try and get into the exacts. But it was close enough where a crit was possible on a high roll, or even depending on what. Maybe he rolled low even on the the one that hit you for before the crit. Yeah. So I'm just saying, like you you could have just swapped out to someone who wouldn't have died to Razor Leaf. <sighs> yeah, I think we I think we just need to like call this one and then like What do you what do you have? You have Baneri's actually almost Yeah, Baneri's though tied to my den, so they're both almost ready for the boss. Be Rivet and Kit who are a little off here. Well, I wouldn't say ready when the only thing it has is pound, but yeah. <laughs> it's as close as it's gonna be. <laughs> Ugh I'm just not comfortable with my the two of my Pokemon having shitty ass like normal physical moves and that's all they have. And then one having fucking Fury Cutter. <laughs> Which is one of the weakest like bug moves in existence. It's actually one of the better bug moves just because of its build up. Well, it, but yeah, but I have to survive the build up first. What do you have besides Fury Cutter? Do you have like a Harden or an Iron Defense or something you can throw on just to ensure survivability? I think Growl. 
that is. Like, that's well, not much. Growl and bide. Yeah. I mean, if you you could wait, like wait your turn. Like, don't necessarily lead with him. Uh, but if you see the enemy throw out something on his first Pokemon, it'd be the best case scenario. Second, if you if you can take it. That deals primarily physical damage. You can just th switch in, growl it down until it's not doing enough damage, minus crits, obviously, and then build up Fury Cutter. You only need like two growls, maybe three at tops type of thing to do that one. Yeah. yeah I'm wondering if we like save here and we'll discuss here whether or not it's worth like hacking in the rare candies to stop. Not grind deaths, because obviously those do get stopped and it's kind of cheating, but it also just allows us to skip over grind and get straight to the actual content. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, we, yeah, we think we save it here and then we de will debate here off screen whether or not we, we cut out the grind by throwing in rare candies. Okay. Throw us I don't know how it. to mod in rare candies, though. That's what I'm here for. Okay, good point. But, uh, yeah, this has been a long enough episode anyways, regardless, so... Oh, true, yeah, it's 44, yeah. Yeah, um, this is Rio on the Roko. <laughs> Random 1177 bulldozer. <laughs> what? Because I, I, I'm calling myself a loser, because oh. I, I lost, like, three Pokemon in the one video. <laughs> yeah. Signing off. Yep, see ya.